Hello everyone, I hope you're ready to learn because in this video I will go through all of the educational content in Chaos, a fantasy adventure game. At the beginning of the game, you can go over to your video machine and switch over to TV mode. The fourth channel has a video for you to watch. swinging in space, completing the same motion over and over, unimpeded by earthly forces. The path decays as friction pulls it to a final point of rest. A tractor. This pendulum moves unpredictably around three magnets, never repeating the same journey twice. Confusion of patterns as ink bleeds into water. The troubled surface of rippling water. Could it be that another world lurks just beneath the disorder? An unexplored world of infinite splendor and mystery. If you found this program fascinating, take advantage of this one-time only television offering. Chaos, Nature's Mysterious Enigma. Download now and receive the first seven installments absolutely free. Download now. This offer will not be repeated. Download now. This offer will not be repeated. Download now. This offer will not be repeated. Clearly, what you want to do is download the program. So download it to your PDA. And as you progress through the game... The various episodes will be added to your PDA. So, for example... Clouds... When you solve the coastline puzzle, you will get the video about the coastline. Let me show you all seven videos in order. Cloud formations, fluctuations in the stock market, the development of weather patterns, the flow of traffic, turbulent water, the engineering of the human body. Systems which have confounded those who have tried to discover their unpredictable essence. Since Newton, scientists believed that the universe operates in an orderly, predictable, and mechanical fashion, that if we could piece together the inner workings of this cosmic clock, we would have the eternal laws which governed every aspect of it. In the late 1800s, mathematician Henri Poincaré challenges Newtonian law by daring to wonder about the stability of the solar system. What if a planet were to orbit not one, but two bodies? The addition of this one extra factor seemed to produce an orbit which was highly irregular and unpredictable. But rescued from the trash can of science comes a theory called chaos which shatters Newton's ideal of an orderly clockwork universe. A theory which suggests that there are indeed random, irregular, and unpredictable aspects of the universe, and which attempts to reveal the structure laying hidden beneath the seeming disorder. Of all the unpredictable systems in the world, perhaps none is more familiar and frustrating than the weather. The question haunted meteorologist Edward Lorenz. His conclusion? a fascinating and elegant phenomenon he called the butterfly effect. It turns out that certain systems in motion are so dynamically complex that even the smallest fluctuations may produce wildly different results. It is as if the flapping of a butterfly's wings in Brazil could set off a tornado in Texas. This is also known as sensitive dependence on initial conditions, and it means that the only way to truly predict the weather or any dynamical system would be to constantly measure every single variable at every point throughout the system, which is, of course, not possible. 
But if it were, we could not only predict the weather, but maybe even control it as well. Scientist, mathematician, and geometrist discovered something astounding. By programming his computer to run this relatively simple equation in a continuous feedback loop known as iteration, he produced what is arguably the most complicated and beautiful object ever created by mathematics. The Mandelbrot set, named after its creator, Benoit Mandelbrot, is a perfect example of what we call a fractal, an irregular shape or object which at any level of magnification is endlessly self-similar and paradoxically endlessly variable. A new face for the young science of chaos had emerged on a computer screen. And if a face, why not a voice? In other words, if you could plot colors to correspond to a chaotic equation, why not sounds? Perhaps the music of chaos is the only true harmony, the only true music of the spheres. Clouds are not spheres. Mountains are not cones. Coastlines are not circles. Bark is not smooth. Nor does lightning travel in a straight line. In one sentence, Mandelbrot reminds us that the natural world is composed not of the clean edges and friendly surfaces of a perfect Euclidean geometry, but of jagged, irregular shapes which defy easy comprehension. And yet these unusual shapes seem to share a certain consistency. Examined at almost any magnitude, an isolated part resembles the whole to a remarkable degree. And as Mandelbrot theorized, these shapes and objects cannot be classified as strictly one-dimensional, or two, or three, but seem to exist in the areas between. These natural forms reminded Mandelbrot of geometric shapes he called fractals. Fractal shapes exist within a finite space, but they are self-similar at every scale. Each part is made up of smaller and smaller versions of the whole, but never cross the same point twice, and so may be thought of as containing infinity. When Mandelbrot posed the question, how long is the coastline of Britain, he was referring to the fact that at every level of magnification, a fractal shape will reveal more and more detail. Could it be that when measuring a fractal, the smaller the unit of measurement, the further the total distance? What processes produce the infinite variety and harmony of nature? By what elegant alchemy exists the wondrous symmetry of an oak leaf in so random a universe? An Oxford-educated mathematician named Michael Barnsley believed that the rules that make these things possible were knowable and could be recreated with objects as simple as a pencil, a ruler, and a die. With this in mind, he devised the chaos game. Draw three points on a piece of paper that, if connected, would form a triangle. Next, choose a random point anywhere within the boundaries of the triangle. Now roll a die. If the number is one or two, draw a new point halfway between that point and the original top point. If the number is three or four, draw a new point halfway towards the original left point. If the number is five or six, draw a new point halfway towards the original right point. If you continue this process 10,000 times, you might expect to get a great mess of dots. In fact, something much more interesting happens. A stable, specific structure appears, a fractal structure composed of endlessly smaller versions of itself. This same method can be applied to objects in nature which have elements of self-similarity. By dividing a maple leaf into smaller versions of itself, you can figure out the rules that produce it. Of course, the more complex the image, the more complicated the rules. We have seen that nature is full of disorder and confusion and is most often highly unpredictable. Observe the turbulent confusion of roiling swirls and eddies in a swiftly moving stream. But keep watching and every now and then a well-defined swirl develops that is predictable, that you can follow. Such pockets of predictability appear throughout chaotic systems. The calm eye of a hurricane, on Jupiter, the stable and discreet red spot nestled in the whirling storms of methane. Economists, realizing that the vagaries of the stock market are fractal in nature, 
have begun to use this model to search for similar periods of predictability in the rise and fall of stock prices, as well as the global structure that might make long-term prediction possible. If a system as human as the stock market is subject to chaos, might not other human systems, political events, even the formation of the individual psyche itself, be influenced by the elements of chaos as well? The human body is a remarkable example of chaos and fractals at work. The branching pattern of veins and arteries are fractal in design. The combination of randomness and self-similarity provides a robust and efficient method of distribution. The lungs, ingeniously folded into a small, finite space, contain a surface area as large as a tennis court. The beating of the heart, subtly different each time, allows for variations in the amount of blood and oxygen distributed to the body. And the very nerve fibers which initiate those heartbeats are engineered in a fractal pattern which carries the impulse to the widest possible area while allowing the heart to expand and contract efficiently. But the irregular aspect of the nerve network means that each impulse reaches its destination at a slightly different moment, allowing the heart to rest. Should these branches become blocked, it would overwork the system, causing the heart to fibrillate dangerously. The other educational material is contained here in the compendium. It contains a lot of information about chaos theory, and I will just scroll through it. If you want to read this, just pause the video and read everything that you're interested in. We also have a reference section which contains resources on chaos. And finally, we have Uncle Prospero's notes on chaos theory. Some thoughts on the commencements of a scientific inquiry. Again, if you're interested, just pause the video so you can read anything on a particular screen. And that is it. That is all the scientific information and all the educational material about chaos theory contained within Chaos, a fantasy adventure game. I hope you enjoyed this look into nature's mysterious enigma.